Time for some coffee on my morning drive to work. An hour and a half of fun. Let's just have fun. It's Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. I cannot believe how much money we have raised for Jessica and Brandon in two days. I'm not sure if anybody else has ever seen anybody take B17 or CBD oil to help cure cancer or help with cancer. <sighs> Leave me some comments if you know anything about any of this. Uh, these are also like quality products. I know the person that makes the hemp oil, uh, the B17, that's just uh, a suggested brand. But yeah, if you know anything about any of these, do please share your input. I would love to hear it. Lunch. You know me, always trying to mix things up. We got about three pieces of bacon in there. I'm gonna pour that grease, that grease and that bacon in our sauerkraut to make it taste lots better. These are, uh, what are these called, bratwurst. I've never cooked them like it says on the package. I literally did what it said on the package. So hopefully they're good. I usually don't boil things the way that they suggested, but you know, hey, you gotta try new things to know if you like them or not. Sauerkraut with some bacon and the bratwurst. Macros on that bratwurst was pretty good, so that's why we're having that. We're gonna have a keto hot chocolate after that, and we got lots of it, video editing to do. Let's talk about today's vlog session. So it was kind of uneventful. I need to do something with this. It was kind of uneventful because I had to go to work today. I was off the last two days, so I had like a ton of work to do, and I couldn't really be creative for lack of better words um, but tomorrow we are gonna test Rockstar Pure Zero I've been asked a lots about it um, we got a couple more things on the table I've got some like pre-workout stuff that I want to test too that people's been talking about so uh, Mr. Hyde has one C4 has one actually they have like two I have both of them oddly enough and um, I don't know, there's other things that people have been asking me to test. Uh, one of them's five inner energy drink, uh, the, well, the five hour drink or whatever, I don't know, five, whatever it's called. Anyway, uh, I've asked for specific preferences on that. If there's anything y'all want to test, tell me, I need to test it. Uh, once I run out of like uh, supplemental type things and energy drinks, I'm pretty much going to start testing some foods and stuff like uh, maybe broccoli or I don't know, something like that, something that people tell you that you shouldn't be on the ketogenic diet or one of those nonsense things. Well, the camera just did some weird stuff there. But anyway, we've got to make our fat drink for tonight. I'm not sure what I'm going to mix up. I'm going to think about it and I'm going to mix it up and I will share that information with you for sure. Um, tomorrow, there's a lot going on. I'll try to vlog a little bit of it. I don't know how much of it I'm going to get. And then Sunday, I'll be flying a drone the entire day for a realtor. Um, so that will be probably a kind of a fasting day because I'll be out doing videos and all that stuff. But man, it's like our whole house is a mess. Like look at all that mess back there. Jesus. We're too busy. We're too busy. I got to finish editing um, at least two videos tonight. Still got to post the vlog from yesterday and the Red Bull energy drink, sugar-free Red Bull energy drink video. I don't know, we got a bunch to do, so I'm just gonna get at it. So again, we're gonna come with some uh, Perfect Keto salted caramel. I'm gonna make this a little different than I normally do. I'm not gonna add butter to Amanda's because sometimes it doesn't make her feel well. But I'm gonna say with this brand, I would not buy this brand if I was not going to add fat to it. If I was just going to buy this to have collagen in my diet, um, I wouldn't buy this because it's expensive. But if you're gonna make uh, like these keto hot chocolates, it's perfect. Anyway, so you want to scoop in each one of these. Gonna do some uh, coconut oil. We're gonna do around a tablespoon. It doesn't have to be perfect or even close to perfect for that matter. So. In my cup, I'm going to put butter. In Amanda's, I'm just going to do heavy whipping cream. So 
so it's a letter. Amanda likes hers kind of cold, so we're gonna put more heavy whipping cream in hers to make up for the fat that she's not getting from the butter, and I'll just put less in mine. Make sure you stir everything up with the hot water before you add the uh, heavy whipping cream. This is gonna cool it down. Let's just go ahead and fill hers up. So, how much ever liquid was in there? I basically doubled it. She only had about four ounces of hot water in there with one scoop of the uh, Perfect Keto collagen. And then I did about a tablespoon-ish of coconut oil. And then we probably just did at least four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, maybe more. She likes her drinks a little colder. So this should do the trick. Butter's still not melted. We're just gonna let that melt for a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and add the heavy whipping cream so I can uh, show you about how much I'm gonna use. So we can see how much I pour. Being pretty liberal with it. I think I did probably three and a half tablespoons. I'm just guesstimating ballpark. Nice and buttery. Probably wouldn't hurt to hit it with the blender, but I'm good on all that. That is good, like super good. Um, so as I showed you guys a little bit today, like the CBD oil and those B17, and if you've read any of the description, you've seen that there's like a GoFundMe account for my sister-in-law, Jessica. She's battling cancer right now, and it's really scary, and I keep saying the word and, I don't mean to, but it just reminds me that you should be happy for every single thing you get because just having a job is a bigger deal than most people would understand for those who can't work, who maybe they're in a wheelchair, maybe, I don't know, maybe they're disabled, maybe they had like a car accident and injured their brain and they can't, but just living, just being able to take a breath every day is sometimes the biggest gift that you could have of the day but it is a gift it's a gift that you woke up it's a gift that you're healthy maybe it's a gift that you're able to work out it's a gift that you're able to share knowledge with someone else it's a gift to have kids some people can't even have kids and uh, I just want to say be thankful for every single thing you have be thankful that you're able to watch this video on whatever device you're watching it on um, just be thankful. Be thankful because you know what? Tomorrow could be gone before you know it or something could happen. Something could change and everything changed in your life and, and, and it just sucks the rest of your life. You never know. You never know what is going to happen to you and you never know what the future brings. But what you can do is do your best to make your future better. So with the ketogenic diet, you know, we're fighting Alzheimer's, we're fighting cancer, we're fighting lots of stuff. Is it 100% proven? No, it's not 100% proven. What we can do though is have hope. And what we can do though is, hey, camera, what are you doing? This gimbal, I'm telling you. Anyway, you have to have something that drives you in life. You can't just wake up every day and just accept what life gives you. If you do, your your life is always gonna be the same. It's never gonna change. And you're just not gonna, you're not gonna have that fulfillment. But if you get up every day and just have like, one little thing that you want to do. Maybe you get up and you do 50 push-ups and you're like, yeah, I just banged out 50 push-ups in a row. Super happy about that. Just small things to make your life better because life is great. You woke up, you, I hope you're healthy, healthy. I hope you're getting healthier. I hope you're helping yourself. I help, I'm helping you in some way. Um, you know, I'm only gonna do this vlog for 30 days. Today's day 12, so we're almost halfway uh, for me doing these vlogs and I, I mean I get it they're not like super fancy they're not really really informational but the thing is is it's just it keeps me going it keeps me making videos because I'm going to end up doing something like this for the rest of my life 
not maybe not vlog t format, but just having a video camera, talking about things, helping people out, and I would love to help anybody out when it comes to the ketogenic diet. It is the only diet that I've ever enjoyed doing. It's the only diet that's ever even really worked for me. Uh, obviously, I've been in the gym for a long time, and I love working out, and I, I love sharing any information I can give you. I, I know a lot about a little, but I am willing to help you in any form or fashion that I can. I mean, I can't help you financially because I'm not freaking rich, but I can definitely help you on the information side. Just, you know, my thoughts on things and what I plan on doing for a living. What, I don't know. Just, I would like to help you somehow. So tell me how I can help you and I will make that happen. But as for now, I'm just going to test supplements and test energy drinks and test things to see if they're keto friendly. That way we know, hey, I feel confident eating this or drinking this without it knocking me out of ketosis because that's the name of our game and you know the ketogenic life is you're wanting to be in ketosis. Lots of people live low carb lives that never even really get to ketosis. They produce small amounts of ketones but they stay in like a low carb diet and they lose weight because when you don't have sugar in your body it can't store fat and it's simple as that. Your body cannot store fat if it has no presence of carbs in it. Also sugars in your body feed cancer and that's something that we've talked about you know Jessica and I and my brother Brandon is you know cancer feeds off of sugar so maybe she should do keto maybe she shouldn't I think we're just gonna see what the radiation does for right now uh, she may or may not take the B17 and the CBD oil I don't know it's just one of those things man just do what you can that's all it boils down to do what you can and believe in it and just have hope we just have hope that's all we have we just have to keep hoping tomorrow will be a better day hoping that we get to wake up tomorrow hoping that our children stay happy I don't know what else to say just have hope until next time keep it keto looks like I'm gonna be up a bit late so I'm gonna need a snack to get me through that <laughs>